If you have a great car wheel, it's time to do a round off. Let's learn how to do a round off. If your round off doesn't look like that, but it looks more like this, then keep watching. Because having a powerful round off will help you get power into your tumbling passes. In this video, we're gonna go over what is a round off, how to do a round off, and drills so that you can improve your round off. Now first, what is a round off? A round off is like a cartwheel, except you're going to land with both legs. Instead of hand, hand, foot, foot, it's going to go hand, hand, feet. And a lot of the time, a rebound is performed after it, which is just a fancy way of saying jump. It's a skill that can be an individual skill or you can combine it with another skill, which is important to have a good round off because it can affect the rest of your skills in your tumbling pass. Now, let's learn how to do a round off. Let's just start with a standing round off. You can start with your legs together and then put your good foot out in front, put your hands down, hand, hand, and then bring your legs over your head and land on two feet. Once you are consistent of having tight arms and your feet going over your head, add in the rebound. Let's go over a few key points. Be sure to have really tight arms so that you don't fall. Next, make sure your chest and arms are reaching forward, not too high and definitely not too low and close to the foot. And for the last key point, you want your hips over your feet. This remains the same even for a rebound. You wanna keep your chest up and your bottom tucked. A small side note for number three, if you're connecting a round off into a back handspring, your feet will actually not be directly under you, they will be slightly in front of you. This helps with technique and placement of the back handspring. Now moving on to drills to help you improve your round off. These drills are easily done at home, you just need a couple panel mats. We have provided you with a link where you can get your own durable panel mats. The first one is a round off off a panel mat. This has three really important key components, so let's break it down. This might look like one component, but it's actually two. You have a mountain climber into a needle kick. And then the third component is a handstand snap down. So then once you put it all together, you have a round off off a panel mat. For drill number two, you're going to do a hurdle over a panel mat and freeze. If you need to, you can start with something that isn't as wide as a panel mat and work your way up. This is to make sure that you really push off that back leg and that your body position and shaping is correct. Drill number three are needle kicks. Go down, kick your back leg up, and back up again. Make sure your arms are by your ears. For number four, you're going to do a handstand snap down rebound. Just make sure your arms stay by your ears and they don't go out to the side. And for the last one, up, down, up, cartwheel step-ins. This helps you push off your toes on the first panel mat and then push off the floor with your hands in order to get your feet under your hips on the last panel mat. Doing it on an elevated panel mat makes it harder, but once you get it, move it to the floor and I bet your hips are over your feet. Join our Skill Tracker program to improve your gymnastics with just 15 minutes a day.